Last week, we spoke about Botswana's new president and what's on his to-do list. But there was another national election of importance for the diamond industry very close to that one. Today, we take a look at the US and, of course, at Donald Trump. I've already written 900 words on what the return of Donald Trump might mean for the diamond and jewelry industry. You can read the full article or keep watching this TLDR version. And you can also get all our articles, news, and analysis directly through your phone if you sign up to our Rappaport WhatsApp channel, which we launched a few weeks ago. This channel will keep you updated without delays. Click on the link to subscribe. Donald Trump was US president from 2017 to 2021. His second term will begin in January 2025. Since he won the election against Democrat candidate Kamala Harris, the US stock market rose, albeit with a small correction at the end of last week. This indicates investors had a good feeling about how a second Trump presidency would impact the corporate world. The main factor for this optimism is Trump's pledge to cut taxes for lower and higher income citizens, as well as for businesses. Logically, lower taxes give people more spending power. Milton Pedraza, CEO of the Luxury Institute, told me he expected Trump to implement pro-business tax policies and that that would increase consumer wealth. Of course, there are many ways of measuring economic performance, but specifically for the diamond industry, there's also no clear correlation between stock markets and diamond prices, as you can see from this graph. If anything, there's a negative correlation. Also, the main impacts on our market are rarely predictable. They tend to be huge events such as COVID-19, China's slowdown, and generational changes that affect consumer preferences. The S&P 500 index, which tracks the stock performance of the top 500 publicly listed companies in the US, behaves quite similarly under both Trump and Joe Biden. And an article by Forbes in 2021 showed there was no real correlation between which party, Democrats or Republicans, was in power and how the stock markets performed. Another reason to be optimistic is that Trump wants to reduce inflation and interest rates, both of which would be good for the average US consumer, though this might not be in his control. But there are other factors. The president-elect has said he wants to place tariffs on foreign products. When he launched the trade war with China in his first term, Chinese spending power decreased. This is one of the factors that led to the current downturn in Chinese diamond demand. Tariffs could, of course, also increase consumer prices for American shoppers. However, as a few experts I've spoken to said, it is unlikely that Trump, who ran on a platform of putting more dollars in Americans' pockets, will introduce tariffs that might have the opposite effect. Finally, there is Trump's anti-immigration stance, one of his huge campaign topics, which might affect the Hispanic community, one that has become important for the jewelry industry. Signet Jewelers has previously stated the importance of this demographic, and we also discussed the relevance of them as consumers with David Sherwood, CEO of Daniels Jewelers, on one of our recent episodes of the Rappaport Diamond podcast. In short, Trump's impact could go either way. How do you think his presidency will impact the diamond and jewelry industry? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the week. Thank you.